Let's say you also live east and western between 79th and the train tracks just north of 83rd Street by the Dan Ryan Woods. All right, according to Dreamtown Realty, you live in Beverly View. Which I guess means you can see Beverly, but you don't actually live in Beverly. But whatever, whenever we get all purist about contemporary real estate practices and the evil which they exhibit, um, it's good to recall that some of what we now consider ye old authentic Chicago neighborhoods were so named by 19th century real estate weasels trying to sell middle class Chicagoans on bucolic Lakeview, Edgewater, Englewood, Kenwood, Hyde Park, and Beverly Hills. Many Chicago neighborhood names sound like suburban subdivisions because they were suburban subdivisions. So, who gets to say where you live? Who defines your neighborhood's identity? The city? The social scientists? Some mopes drawing lines on maps back in the 19th century? Some real estate agents trying to get your down payment in 2013? This all came into focus with me very clearly, thinking about this essay last Thursday when I saw online that someone had been stabbed to death in Rogers Park in the 7300 block of Seeley Avenue. Seely isn't Rogers Park, it's Westridge. <laughs> I thought with my trademarked pointless indignation. <laughs> Wait though, uh, 7300 Seely, that's north of Tui, and Ridge has cut pretty far west by that point. And I looked it up, and sure enough, that block of Seely was firmly located in historically accurate Rogers Park. I had no legitimate beef with this media representation of my neighborhood. <laughs> so at that point, I surrendered. The many competing forces that can or have or should name our neighborhoods, fuck them all. You live wherever you say you live. West Rogers Park it is, my friend.